welcome back to my channel. My name is Miriel. Thank you for tuning in today. <laughs> Thank you so much. So if you know me, you know that I started out my channel. Like those that have been with me from the beginning, you know that this channel used to be about relationship and sex and marriage, lifestyle and things like that. So out of all the videos that I filmed before now, you know, there is this particular video that people still watch every blessed day and I get comments every day. I get questions every day. I get private messages every day. Ever since I filmed that video, it's over a year. Like I filmed it a year ago. So that video has inspired me to film this particular video because it seems like Nigerian men are all over the globe. <laughs> Nigerian men are everywhere, and you know, I feel like women just find it very difficult to understand the Nigerian man and know what exactly he wants from you and what to do and what not to do. So I decided to come out here to tell you guys how to please your Nigerian man, how to make your Nigerian man fall in love with you, how to have a better relationship with him and understand where he's coming from and all those things. So I feel like these are top secrets that nobody is really, really, really going to tell you. So I'm here for you. If you're interested in this content, then please stick around. The major thing, see, if you know this particular thing about a Nigerian man, then your relationship is going to be perfect your marriage is going to be perfect this one is a major secret that i do not think that people talk as a matter of fact if you know only this one and you do not know the rest then you're good to go so the major major thing that you need to know about a nigerian man that you need to do to make him love you so much is that you need to no no let me make this the last okay let me make this the last point so yeah, let me save the best for the last let me share another one with you. Um, like I said in that video, that video I titled it The Truth About Nigerian Men. 12 Facts About Nigerian Men. And yeah, I mentioned how much a Nigerian man loves respect. I did a video recently about respect and, you know, the Nigerian point of view, view about respect is different from other places, you know. So yeah, in Nigeria, but we all know the basics of our respect, yeah? So a Nigerian man do not want you to disrespect him ever. He like it's fine that you can correct him, but do not correct him in public. Do not scold him. Mba. No, mba means no in Igbo language Nigeria. So if you have this is an Igbo man, mba. Do not scold your Nigerian man in public, especially in front of his friends. He wants you to respect him. He wants you to paint that picture that Omo, he's like he's enjoying his relationship with you, especially in front of his friends. When his friends are there, respect him, love him, honor him, kiss him, you know, love him. But do not you can you can correct him in private. When you guys are together, you can tell him, oh babe, this thing you did doesn't make sense. You know, it doesn't make sense to me and all of that. And he's going to really appreciate it. But if you go and scold him in public, walk out on him in public, oh, he's going to think twice about you. Trust me. So in that video, I also mentioned that Nigerian men are very, very hard working. Like they are hard workers. As far as money is going to come out of this thing, they're going to do the work, you know. So they do not need a woman that is extra vegan. They do not want you to spend, spend, spend. They love women that know how to save, women that can bring investment deals, women that can like see the future. Because they feel like, oh, we're men and we need women that can. Because men do not actually think about, I'm sorry, about the future. Most times they're thinking about now, now, now. So like in this part, you know, is the woman that plans ahead is the woman that you know tells the man oh no we can't spend this at this time we cannot buy this at this time how about we invest in this way so that we can buy a house of our own later like they just want that kind of woman that can reason and plan and you know that is you know not extravagant if you're that kind of girl who loves to shop they have your own money, okay? They can give you the money to shop. If they have the money, they can give you, but they do not want it to be all about shopping. They want you to be able to let them, like, push them and encourage them to do more. So you might not be bringing investment deals, but you are believing in his hustle, you're pushing him, you're encouraging him, you're talking to him about how he's doing so great and he can do better. Oh, there's this real estate business that is in town now and people are making money out of it. How about you go into it, you know? They want that kind of woman that just cares about their success because hard work is very, very, it's a thing. Like working is a thing to Nigerian men and just wants a woman that can just, you know, 
support their hustle basically so let's not talk too much about that let's move on to the next point most nigerian men want to feel safe with you they want to feel like oh they have come home to a safe place like whenever you're around they want to be like some men like let me tell you about my husband if my husband is with me like there was one time it's really at the beginning of the beginning part of at the start of our relationship here yeah? he would always just eat and be happy and just sleep and it's like anytime I'm around, he sleeps. Like he just sleeps. Like he feels so safe. He feels so at home with me. So he doesn't think about anything. He doesn't worry about anything because he feels like, oh, you know. So you need to you Nigerian a Nigerian man just for a place that is so safe. You know, especially in this world right now. He needs a place, a, he needs to feel safe with you and feel like you have his back and he can share whatever he wants to share with you whatever he's going through he wants to share it with you he doesn't want you to condemn him even when he's making a mistake please do not condemn me first of all just embrace me make me know that okay i'm doing good you know he wants to feel safe basically with you nigerian men love women that dress well see in africa we, we are very conservative when it comes to dressing right we do not like to overexpose yet we love to look very very sexy all right so if you're able to do that like look so sexy, you look clean, well dressed. If you want to expose a little bit of legs and hands and cleaves, just do it moderately. He doesn't want to feel like, oh, you are showing the world my property, or like for Nigerian men, if you're married to them, they feel like they own you, yeah? <laughs> not in a bad way, trust me. So you are showing the world, so this thing is not for me alone, it's not special. Like he feels like there are some things that you should just leave for him alone that makes him feel so good. So when you are dressing up, do not just not be showing all your nipples and you don't wear bra and all your nipples and your nipple piercings are just showing them that I'm around. Hey, hey, look at me. Look at me, I'm around, look at me. No, he wants you to be very sexy so that people can actually admire you and he can admire you as well, but he does not want you to overexpose, overexpose yourself, your body. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you are dating a Nigerian man or you are you know in love with a Nigerian man, show some interest in his local dishes, like like I said, he wants to feel at home with you and no matter how he eats all the burger and all the things that you guys eat, he misses his own local dish. Like I said, Nigerian men, in that video I told you guys that Nigerian men love food. They love good food, yeah? So they miss, like I said, they want to feel that much. They miss home so much. They miss their food. So if you're the kind of person that you don't even care about his food or his culture, He's going to feel some type of way, so you want him to feel so safe. You want him to. My mouth is scratching me to share the first point, which I'm going to share next. Yeah. So he wants you to show some interest in his food, learn how to cook, or how to eat his local delicacies. You know. So if, if you're that kind of, if you're that woman that is so interested, and you want to learn how to cook like really bitterly soup. See, if you're dating an evil man and you're interested in knowing things about evil men, see, I am here for you. I can tell you, I'm evil, remember? And yes, I'm sharing all of these because I am Nigerian. So I have lived in Nigeria, so I know exactly what I'm saying, yeah? So show some interest um, in this dish, in this food. Learn, it's really his favorite food. Learn how to cook Nigerian food. Learn how to eat Nigerian food. Like, it's everything. He's going to be like, it is everything. Imagine eating his local amala and it will do with you, a non like he's gonna feel like ah, this girl loves me, loves me so much for her to be eating this food with me, or for her to be learning. Like you might not even eat it, you might just learn, learn how to prepare it. It's all over YouTube. You can just search how to make Nigerian stew. You know, he just wants that that feeling. He just wants that. It's not hard. Nigerian men are not hard, but let me tell you. So now I am moving to the number one point. This is number one point might be very difficult for you but if you understand it i hope i'm going to be able to make you understand it but this is the number one secret to the heart of a nigerian man love his family especially his mom see see see, see. love his family like they were yours like they are yours <laughs> See, like I told you guys, Nigerian men are family oriented, family conscious. They love family, like I said in that video. If you've not seen it, I think you should see it. I said that if you if you are dating a Nigerian man or you're married to a Nigerian man, you are married to his entire family. You cannot be loving somebody's son. Like, do you know the job of a mom in somebody's life? 
in a man's life, the mom, you know, most mothers have done, like mothers in Africa, I am sure of, they have sacrificed a whole lot for their children. So most men love, like, they, they, one of the reasons why they want to make it in life is to take care of their mothers, honestly. So if you can love his mom, if you can love his family, like, do not discriminate and say, oh, I love him, but I can accept some black people as mine. See, love his family and you have scattered everywhere. If you love his family, that's the end of the matter. He's going to cherish you. He's going, like, some women are always like, oh, I don't want to have a mother-in-law. My mother-in-law should be dead. You go for me. My mother-in-law can never be dead. Like, <laughs> not now. You know, they always feel like, oh, they don't want a man that has a mom. Let me tell you, if he has a mom and you can make yourself a daughter to that woman, everything about your relationship, everything about your marriage, this is a secret. If you think I am lying, try it. Just show some interest. They like it when you are there to always tell them, have you called your mom today? Oh, call mom see now. Like, call your mom. Have you, they like you to link, like for example, you're dating a man and he's having issues with his sister or his brother. They're not in good terms and you're the one that can come in to settle their fight and make them, you know, cool again. Jesus. You have scattered the place. I am not lying. You, if, if you think I am lying, try this out and get back to me. This is the see if you know this one and you not going to do other ones, you do this one very well. That's the end of the matter. That's the end of the matter. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more of this, I have a whole lot of content about things like this. If you want, just let your girl know I'm going to film for you. Um because I don't know, I'm very passionate about this topic. Like I feel like okay, love is very important. I love love, I believe in love, and sometimes it's difficult to do this with someone that you you don't have the same background with, the same upbringing, the same beliefs. Of course, when it comes to marriage, we are two people from different backgrounds, different understandings of life, different beliefs, coming together to work as one. So it's very difficult. So if I can be here to really help you out in this, then why not? Like, with all pleasure. With all pleasure. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you love my content. I love you guys and I'm good to see you.